Hey, good morning, guys. I've got a special video, another Joy of Homeownership edition. Woke up this morning, came downstairs to the basement, and found a nice puddle of water everywhere. And it turns out we have a bad ball valve right here. I already drained the irrigation, so this has been shut off. And I always keep this open, this little pet cock, just in case there's any residual water that needs to come down after I've drained most of it. Fortunately, because if I didn't, if I had closed that, it would have gone up and the pipe probably would have ruptured up there. But this water leak requires me to cut this out, to cut this ball valve out. I'm going to do it today with all shark bites. So you're going to get a chance to see how easy this is without knowing, how, even if you don't know how to solder, you can do this, all the shark bite fittings and some inexpensive tools. And I'm also going to throw on a little bonus at the end to basically not have to deal with those crappy little ball valves that leak everywhere uh, and drain very slowly. We're going to put something a little heftier on, so stick around. All right, here's our new shark bite ball valve. I'm going to install that somewhere up there. Run a new piece of copper out of that. Run a T down here into our intersection where the main comes in. And if I need to extend that T, I have a coupler to help me do that. And at the bottom of that T, I'm going to run some extra pipe into... Let me see. This piece here, which goes to a female threaded three-quarter inch fitting that attaches to this quarter turn hose fitting, which allows me to drain this a lot faster and has a better, more secure valve in there. Now, the easy way to cut through this pipe, if you don't have uh, multiple tools, is to just get yourself a pipe cutter. Unfortunately, in this situation, we don't have enough space back here. Those pipe cutters are universal, so they work on all different diameters of pipe, whereas this kind, it only fits one diameter, but I can fit it behind here, and that's what I need to do. So this is a three-quarter inch, because I've got a three-quarter inch pipe coming out. It comes in there, and you twist it until it cuts. So I'm going to go ahead and do this stuff off video, and I'll show you as I attach the pieces. So to make this easy, it's best to do things in a certain sequence. I put the T on first because I can easily get this up there and in here. I guess it probably doesn't make a tremendous amount of difference, but it's just a matter of what's going to fit in easier. Uh, it also gave me the chance to line that up and make sure I had the right height. And I did trim it a couple times. I'm trying to get it so that these copper pieces end up neck and neck right up about there. Uh, the copper with the brass because that's where it's going to push into. And I'm going to go ahead and push those in right now. Right before I get this last piece of pipe on, I'm, I'm installing the quarter turn hose bib. And that right there is some Teflon tape. Some people call it cheese tape. That's going to make a good seal. It's also going to make it so that corrosion does not bind or, or freeze these connections together as easily. So I'm going to go ahead and screw that on. It's just easier to work with the free hand on the pipe uh, before it's installed. And then I'm going to slip the other end in up here and then we'll be done. All right, there's our final product. We got that ball valve closed, got the T in, and I ran an extra long pipe down here. So now when we drain it, you can drain it right into the bucket. The other benefit of this is if I need to do any other plumbing in the rest of the house, I can simply shut off the main and I can uh, come in here, keep that open and I can drain all the plumbing from upstairs and that gravity is gonna run it right down out of that into the bucket so won't be making a big mess while we're doing plumbing upstairs um the other way that it was tied in you could have done that if you open up this ball valve it would take a long time to drain so this is going to speed up any future work anyhow guys i hope you've appreciated the video i hope you liked it please subscribe it uh, helps me out and i'd love to make more for you so uh, if you have any questions please throw them in the comments let's have a conversation glad to help Take care.